Hello everybody, and welcome back to Ultima General Civil War. Uh, so in the last episode we went back and we did a, uh, well I mean we didn't go back, we went and we did the grand battle at Gaines Mill, and we uh, had victory, a uh, pretty good victory as well, it wasn't, it wasn't too close. Uh, but we did have a lot of casualties. We were back up to full strength for the most part. Uh, looks like Bennett is not at full. And we can get him to full. Okay, I think that's everybody now back up to their full strength. Yeah, it looks like it. And a couple of our boys have also been reinforced, so I think our, uh... Second Corps, uh, artillery has been increased for their Napoleon, uh, uh battery. And, uh, Hazen, uh, uh, Hazen, whatever, uh, has been increased by 50 more men with the, uh, J.F. Uh, Brown, uh, sharpshooters rifles. So, yeah, we're, we're doing alright. Uh, also, Hayes, which used to be Coltzer, Coltzer, or something like that, uh, he, their commanding officer died. Uh, but they've been reinforced, and they have Lorenz rifles, which are actually pretty good. Uh, but looking at this, I didn't notice this last time, but uh, a lot of our men have been uh, promoted uh, to generalship. So we got Heescock has uh, gone up to uh, he's Brigadier General. Uh, Latimer is up to uh, Brigadier General as well, which he should be. He's uh, very uh, useful. He's been very good in the fights. So we also got Chetlin and Bane. Both of them are up there. Uh, Martin's Madmen, uh, not up there yet, uh, but that's mostly because the commanding officer, uh, Martin, hasn't been in the fights too much. He, he was, he's been shifted around a bit, and he's been wounded a lot, so that's a thing. We did have a division commander that was a general, but he got killed in the last fight, so yeah. Or maybe that was second division I'm thinking of. Yeah, either way. Uh, but if we go to the battle map... Uh... I think we already read this last time. Yeah, yeah, because I remember it not saying crack troops, but spirited young recruits. So that's the thing. Uh, but we're at uh, Malvern Hill uh, is the next fight. <clears throat> so we read this before, but it's uh, essentially we're retreating away on this peninsula to try. And uh, we're at a landing. We're at uh, Harris, uh, Harrison's Landing to escape. Uh, Lee, who just keeps attacking us, and General McClellan is just trying to get out. And we're the rear guard. We haven't looked at this in a while, so the uh, enemy army is anywhere between 76 to 81,000 men. Uh, their training is 42 to 47%, which is middle of the road, but their armory is pretty shit, so that's the thing. Yeah. Let's start, because we don't have much else we can do. Alright. First Corps, and Second Corps. We almost have enough. If we had five more core for second division, uh, we'd be full up. But it looks like we actually outnumber the enemy for once. So let's read this. It might be exactly the same, but... Uh, after the Battle of Gaines Mill, General McClellan has been conven convinced that the Peninsula Campaign can no longer... can last any longer. Uh, the main camp of the Union Army has been set up at Harrison's Landing to prepare for the with withdrawal. Under the safety of his ironclads, General McClellan organizes his last resort defense at Mar Malvern Hill, choosing you for the command. General Lee is not pulling back. He gambles and decides to attack the heavily fortified position in an attempt to bring the, a decisive end to our operations near Richmond. Okay. What, does details give us anything? Oh, it just gives us kind of a lowdown of what we need. We really need to start phasing out the smoothbore uh, Springfields for the uh, 1855 uh, rifled Spring Springfields. Uh, I'm thinking that'll help us out a lot. So let's start. The rebels are determined to defend their capital, and our army cannot make any uh, cannot take any more beating. They are chasing us, and we must defend again. All right. <clears throat> The bulk of the Union Expeditionary Force has no more strength to continue. The majority of our army is embarking at Harrison's Landing a few miles to the south. We must hold our position on Malvern Hill uh, until we finalize the tactical withdrawal. Okay, we got defensive bulwarks here, we got fences here, and some stuff here. The best ground to defend is at Malvern's Hill, north section. 
Our artillery can see a wide area of open ground and butcher any infantry assaults. It would be crazy if the rebels decided to attack on the west side of Melvorn Hill through swamps and rug, uh, rugged terrain. But we must be cautious. Probably send a, maybe a brigade or two there. We can consider the west side safe from assaults too, as a small river and high cliffs should discourage the atta an attack. Mm, possibly. General, Malvern Hill is an impressive defensive location, and the Confederates are going to receive a hard beating if they insist on attacking. Let them come and take uh, what they deserve. We expect the main force of the rebels to continue from this direction, so they're coming down the main road here. That hill top can be used to bombard our lines. Prepare to counterfire. For counterfire. We also need some artillery batteries to observe this hill he here, this hill area. The Confederates may use the trees to conceal and advance and attack us. We've only got so many cannon batteries. General, it is recommended to stand your ground and not attempt to move away from Malvern Hill. We hold a superior defensive position. We should uh, wait for them to attack. Well, well <clears throat> that's what the plan was. Okay, Madman, you're going to anchor our left with Bratton there. We'll have Eastcock here. Longbeard will anchor our right for right now. With the woods in the woods. So Longbeard will be just partially out woods directly in there. Brennett right there. Then we'll... Hmm. Hobson, you deploy there. Harris, you deploy here. Law, right in the center. With Roach, right in the center. That's eight brigades. I wonder where the rest of our brigades are. Hmm. Huh. Oh, well. Take defensive here. You're right there. Brennan, you move there. He's cocked there. Woods right there. Longbeard, you're in behind. Bratton, you get behind Martin. Okay, I think we're good. What do we got? Well, it looks like Lee's army's taking some hard hits. Barksdale's not even at 2k. Cobb, I'm not seeing anybody over 12k. Or, not 12k, uh, not over 1200 men. Their cannons are remarkably well... Uh, remarkably large, though, I would say. Well, how big are ours? 300? 200. Need to increase our artillery units. Like some... Huge bombardments towards the end of the uh, end of this campaign is what I was expecting, but we don't really have the money to do it. We keep taking so many infantry losses. So Tremble, Taylor, Reilly, Jones. Do it is that easily? Well, maybe not easily, but all the rest of them and Law moving into these trees. Uh, they can't cross there. <sighs> We've got good cover, good cover, good cover, decent cover. And Bratton's alright. Bratton and Longbeard are a reserve. If anything happens, we can move them into locations. Like, if they can cross here, go over this river, Longbeard can move to intercept and hit them as they come across. I don't know where my cavalry's at. I usually have them here as a quick response force in case the line breaks. Looks like the only way across is these three cross points here. The bridge and these fords. Maybe coming down. Cross. It's a bad place to engage though with this farm field. Wish we maybe touched some 
fire on that farm field. That'd be great. Burn it away, and then we just have open ground that we could use to hit him with rifle fire. Or actually, I don't know. Does Woods have rifles? No, he's got smooth bores. Martin's got rifles. Eastcock's got smooth bores. What about smooth bores? Bratton? Smooth bore, long beard. You gotta have rifles. Yeah. So Martin and Longbeard are our only rifled units. Everybody else is using smooth bores. And I think the Lorenz is in wherever the hell else third division is. Maybe they'll be coming up behind us soon. Have Heescock move just a little bit further back. Right there is good. Had to put shots into Cobb. Good, good. Slow moving, but they, they got three cannon batteries here. They've got a cannon battery here, so they've got four total that I can see. Possibly another one in this uh, in these trees. What does Harris have? Harris has got the ten pound ordnance. Ooh, your rebels advance. The Confederates seem to prepare for a general attack. Brace yourselves. Oh shit. Oh, thank God. There's the rest of our unit. Okay. Uh, Hayes. Get on there. And I'll think. Hayes. Detach skirmishers. I want your skirmishers right there just in case. I can over here. Deploy there. Beatley. Your garden there, along with Everson, you're in the center as our stopgap. Actually, you know what? I'll have you go back. I want Hayes. Yeah, they might try that. We're going to have Hayes deploy right there with uh, Latimer. Deploying here? No, here's good. Deploying here on this bridge. Then we'll have Chetlin and Bane deploy right behind Harris. Alright, let's see how this goes. Eastcock and Bennett are gonna have shots on Cobb soon. He's got rifles. Comes down to it, we can have Hayes redeploy north. But I want to defend. For right now, at least. I think the guys in these woods here are going to take the brunt of it. Redeploy Frederick there just to keep the men's spirits up. Okay, they can observe that point. Good. Bane, move over there. Share the rear guard with Bratton in case they charge. Out the double. Chetlin, move over here. Get out of the way of Figgin's guns. What has Figgin actually got? Has he got the howitzers? Yeah, he does. Good. Crossing. 
Come on, Bane, get in position. He's advancing to attack our center. Okay, DHL. I see three brigades redeploying here. They might be trying to go across. Is there a crossing point? Possibly. Here's what we're going to do. I want Woods, Longbeard, and Chetlin to deploy like this. Longbeard in the back. Yeah, Longbeard in the back. The plan is, is we're not going to have this forward position. We're going to have them come towards us. Okay, get off run. Actually, you know what, Longbeard, gonna be going inside these trees. Okay, more. Uh, we got more units coming in from the rebels. We get Bane on the flank here. Why don't you hit him? Well, yeah, they're coming across. Latimer and Hayes should probably be able to do enough. Alright, Bane, if they push up, you can get fire from their flank. up just a little bit, get into some better cover. I recall a couple extra percent. Yeah, it's three or four percent. It's not bad. Okay. Taking fire from these guns here. Chatlin's old and firm. He's only taken seven losses. Let's have Bane move up. Let's see if he can get some shots on Barksdale. Bait him into a fight. go. Yeah, it looks like Barksdale's coming in. Anderson looks like he's trying to charge forward. All right, Anderson. He's going to try and charge. Martin, hold, damn it, hold. Don't expose your flankies, cock. Have to run. Looking back. Okay, here comes Hood. Target Hood. Target him. One hood out of there. And hood's gone, I think. Yeah, he's routed. Martin's still holding. Redeploy Frederick over here.
turn, turn, turn. No, hit Cobb. Okay, Cobb's falling back. How's Martin doing? Martin's doing fine. Lost a lot of men, but he's still holding. Would like second core to come up here. Would be nice. Maybe Bane can get some shots on Jones. But he's he doesn't have rifles, so he's uh, a little less effective. Or I think they've probably got Enfields. Here goes Rhodes. Rhodes is routing completely. Oh, Anderson's actually trying to make a push. Now if he goes for... Bennett, then he's screwed. If he goes for Longbeard, he's screwed. He doesn't really have any good places to charge with Anderson. He's out number two to one in every part. Well, two to one or more in every part, except for this area. Which he might be reinforcing. I got a lot of people here. If they, if they moved all their infantry brigades to try to push through, they might get through. Might. That's the operative term there. Okay, re redeploying Fig in, in the center. I want him to support this left. Here's what's going to happen. After the next charge, where whether or not Martin actually gets these guys to fall back, we're going to have Martin fall back, and we're going to have a semicircle here. Ram come forward out of their tree cover. Yeah, it looks like Cobb's gone. Alright. Martin at the double. Get out. At the double, get out. We're gonna try and bait them out of that wood. We've also got our cavalry in reserve. Pause it. Yep, there we go. Thought so. Okay, Hayes at the double. I want you in this farmhouse area. Well, Latmir will just keep hitting them as they cross. Yeah, hit him. Hit him. Ripley. Fire at Ripley before he gets across. Make him retreat. He's gone. He's cockfired him. Vladimir, keep engaging. Good shots, good shots. Okay, Anderson's falling back. Okay, Bane, you're falling back. At the double. That is not a good position for you. Okay, Bratton, you're falling back. I want him out of there. Okay, 
Okay, Hobson, you're falling back. You just gave a volley. Which you have to double to get out of there. Okay. Oh, he's running. Keep on him, Ladmir. Fire at Hood. Fire at Hood before he gets on to you. Hood's. Yep, Hood's gone. Jones and Barksdale are coming across. So we got Beatty here. Where is Second Core? Looks like they're falling across there. I have Vladimir get right here just in case they come across this area. Fire at Trimble. Both of you fire at Trimble. Canister right into him. Come on. Canister. Yeah. Or you get him under a thousand. There we go. Holy shit. Okay, Bane, I want you out of there. BD, you're over here. Bane, you're gonna defend this crossing point. Longbeard, keep doing what you're doing. Okay, Martin, out of there. Bratton, take up his position. they charge into Longbeard, then Woods and Chetlin will actually get shots. Nope, looks like Law's out. Okay. Really raked this left side. Eastcock's take a lot of kill, a lot of deaths in his unit. Well, it looks like this flank didn't work out too well for him. What are you going to do? Okay, Ripley's got raked. We're gonna have Bratton get inside this farm field. See if he can keep reducing down these guys. If we can, we can retake this position. Because a lot of their ability to fight us has been reduced greatly. Fire Crenshaw to move out of the way, and we're gonna put Chetlin in there. Hold Marvin's Hill before nightfall. What we're doing. Rebels just keep coming. Uh, they've got courage, all right. Yes, they do. Okay, what's this? Oh, they've got flanks. Where is the rest of my boys? That is a problem. Okay, Everson. You're back down here. Get on top of that hill, see if they cross. BD. BD, you stay where you're at. Vladimir can help if the they try to cross over here again. Yeah, put it into Crenshaw. 
There we go. Put him out of those woods. Let's put Bane up just a little bit more, just in case. We'll have the madman take up positions behind Bratton. He's cock. Yeah, you keep hitting into Ripley. get more cover inside those woods. Our reinforcements are starting to arrive. There we go. Second core. Arnold Loomis. You two hold that crossing point. Butler. Figgin. You do likewise there. Hazen. Hazen. Grover, you move up to reinforce. Brewster, need you likewise up here. We saw two brigades moving down this direction, so there's either two brigades going to be crossing here. Two brigades are going to be crossing here, or one each. Hit Hood. Get him out of there. He's got 200 men left. They're trained men, but they're just 200. I mean, it's... It's ridiculous. Get him out of here. And there goes Ripley and Hood. Hood's completely gone. And Sam's... You're going to do likewise. Pull. Looks like go for Bratton. I hope Bane and Martin are going to get shots into him. Oh, Sems is basically broken. Yep, he's gone. Stay in formation. Oh, he's trying to make this push again. Alright. Okay, Bratton broke. I don't blame him. He held there for as long as he could. Take up a position to the left of Martin. Hit Ripley before he makes his charge. Hobson, take your shots. Oh yeah, they're not doing so hot there. Rover's on his road there, and we got Arnold and Loomis going to take up this, and we can move uh, Iverson back up to the line. Rat and hit roads. Oh, ho. Huh. Uh, move, move you on the main line. Same thing with Warren. What else we got? And we got our cannon, and we got Hunt. Let's get them up here with the rest. Okay, Bane, take up Martin's position. Martin, you defend the crossing. get he's cock off this line once uh once we get Hazen up here Hazen you move up at the double
How's Law Supply doing? It's doing okay. Peacecock, I need you to get out of there. You're just taking casualties for casualties' sake at this point. Okay, Arnold and Loomis are basically there, so we're going to have cavalry move back up. Hit Garland. He's coming across at high speed. Take your shots. He's coming across. Cock, take your shots. Right into the flank of Garland. And he's gone. Oh yeah. That's good. Let's see. We're gonna scout across. Everson cross there. Let's see where the hell ooh. There they are, Barksdale. There's those two brigades. If anything, we can have Everson take shots from across the river at uh, Sems. Okay, Hazen's almost there. Warren. Warren, you skirmish there. Hayes, I want you up front. Actually, no, Hayes, you stay where you're at. Cannon, take up position there. Take shots from Cross River. There we go. Back in those trees. Okay, Hazen, you're up there. He's Cox off the line. Ratton's almost out of ammo. Hunt, you're going to the left. There he is. Boy Figgin here. Butler there. Latimer, you stay where you're at. Warren, you stay where you're at. Actually, you know what? Latimer, I want you back over here. You're going to cross. Iverson's doing what he can, but we need somebody with some longer range. They fired. Let's come back there. Hazen, you're coming over. You got the best range out of any one side of the army with your, uh... Ooh. There's Jones back there. Okay, Everson, come on over. Hazen, come over here. Then Latimer. You're coming over as well. As well as Beatty. Him to come down there. And where's the last of our Warren? Warren, I want you to cross and go over here as well. We're going to hit Ripley. We're going to have these two cavalry units hit Jones from the back. Okay, Bratton's getting resupplied. That's good.
Law, you're moving over there. You've got what little supplies you've got left. We need to put it on Chatlin. We just broke that whole unit. Okay, Warren's there. So what we're going to do is we're going to pincer Averson, Warren, and Beatty from both sides, and we're going to route Jones. That's the, the plan, at least. While avoiding the other infantry brigade down here with Barksdale. We'll have Arnold and Loomis move forward so we can get Barksdale's attention. Also move up with Hazen, see if he can get shots on Rhodes or Garland. They can. Shoot into Rhodes. First things first, we'll have... Which way are they facing? This direction, so Everson will come in from behind. Then once they start turning... While the other two move forward. Okay, here we go. Hit him from both sides. Doesn't know what to do. Reload, keep going in. Keep fighting him. There we go, he's routing. Keep him on him, keep on him. Okay. Keep moving. Want to break Jones. I'm going. Then we can hit Barksdale from behind. Shoot into him. Okay, Loomis, cross in. Loomis is crossing in, hit Barksdale. Poe, you're going to take up position where Bane's at. Bane is taking way too many casualties. Fall back at the double. Keep firing into Garland, has him. Firing into Garland. Charge with all of my cavalry. We're gonna hit him. Oh. Ladmer, can you get shots on that guy? Oh, he's already gone. Poe at the double move up there. Charge across. We want to get rid of these units on our side.
As and keep putting shots in the garland. Woods, you're coming across. You're taking Bratton's position. Can't tell if they're gone or not. Jones is just getting wrecked. Okay, Barksdale's retreating. Okay, they broke. Get the cavalry in position. Barksdale's retreating into you. Loomis and Butler have been trading shots for a while, it looks like. Figgin, get over there. And, uh, or it's not Loomis. Uh, Bar uh, Butler and uh, Armistead. So let's get fight Figgin and Armistead fighting as well. At the double. They're right there so we can hit Barksdale. Okay, Woods and Poe right there. There it goes. Anderson, Garland's there. Loomis, you'll be the shooting column while Arnold will be the one that actually charges this time. We also want the cavalry to move in. Charge into Barksdale. Well, we have our cavalry move in, so they're on full route. We want to hit them when they're in route into melee. having the cavalry chase him. Retake these positions here. Armistead's breaking. Let's have Loomis at the devil. Want Barksdale to break. Or captured. That would be good too. Woods, get in there. See about taking up that defensive position. See what you can do. He broke. So Barksdale's gone. And we've got two brigades, semi fresh, ready to go. Keep moving to the side with our sharpshooters here. See about getting a shot on D.H. Hill. Oh, that is a sight. Yeah, we're finally starting to run low on ammo. Bratton, Bain, Heescock, and Martin all took heavy casualties during this fight. That's not too bad. Take shots at Hill. Armistead's trying back. Okay, and that's over. Wow. Victory, Malvern Hill. Commanders and Leaders, Union, Frederick Roach and William Brewster. Confederate, Thomas Jackson, John Magruder, uh, Benjamin uh, Hugger, Huger, and uh, Daniel Hill. Strength, Union. Uh, is that 30,000? That looks like 30,000. Yeah, 30,450 uh, infantry. 1,250 cavalry, 40 guns. Versus Confederate strength, 26,155 infantry, no cavalry, and 38 guns. Casualties, Union, 6,480. 
infantry, uh, four guns, 70 cavalry, versus Confederate, 15,859 infantry, one gun, no cavalry, no missing. Goals, we got a full victory here, so that was good. Uh, Longbeard did the most kills and got the least losses, nice. Uh, Martin's Mammon did alright, but he took a lot of losses. Harris got a crap ton of kills, actually, very surprisingly. Uh, Bratton, who had the most losses in our... Heescock. Heescock and Bratton, which makes sense. Uh, but it was pretty close on a lot of these guys. Uh, officers. Uh, Jesse Whitaker. I think that's how you would pronounce that. Uh, promoted to Major. Uh, William Harrison to Brigadier General. Uh, Dennis Butler to General. Uh, Arnold Arnold. Uh, promoted Lieutenant Colonel. Travis Hayes, Lieutenant Colonel. Uh, Harvey uh, Bennett uh, to Colonel, full bird Colonel. Uh, Guy Gavin to Brigadier General. Uh, Jerry Martin to Colonel. Frederick Roach, I have become a Major General. And uh, Will Perrin, back, uh, he's up at uh, Brigadier General. Whew. We captured a lot. We captured and rescued a lot of Smoothbore, Springfield. We got some Palmettos back. Got some Smiths. Captured a 12 pounder. Or we rescued a 12 pounder. Uh, got some Sharps, some Lorenz, some Sharps, some more Sharps, a couple of Reboard Farmers, some rescued some of our, uh, our rifled Springfields, rescued a 10-pound ordinance, and captured one farmer. That was a fight. And we got George McClellan as a commander we could take. Uh, so we got two career points, a lot of money. Uh, a lot of reputation and a lot of men. Good, good. Well, let's take uh, Everson has been promoted. Let's see here. We took uh, that. What do we want? Cavalry training, so we get better charge, stamina, melee. Shooting training to give him better firearms or reconnaissance course. We use them as like skirmishers and dragoons. So we're gonna hit the. We're gonna take shooting. Uh, Hayes got promoted. Uh, I want you to take a endurance course. Uh, oh, Frederick Roach was promoted, so I actually got an extra thing. So right now I think I'm a trainer. Yeah, so let's see what we have here. Trainer, artillery specialization, infantry specialization, cavalry specialization. Well, I think we're going to take infantry. That's good. Uh, what do we got here? Poe got promotion. Let's take you a disciplinary course, or a discipline course, not disciplinary, uh, and career. So what are we going to spend it on? Well, I think we should spend it on our army org. And... Economy? Purchasing new weapons, that goes down, or we could get veteran costs. Or we could start going in for recon. We need to put another point into it. Or we do this and we get an extra brigade size. Where we go up to, we can have an extra 500 men per brigade. Oh, there's a lot of choices here. The next thing we'll do is army org. Uh, that's what we're going to do. The next thing we'll do is army org to get up to 2,500. And then the one after that we'll do reconnaissance. So we can get a full reconnaissance point for the next level. Apply. There we go. All right, but looking at the time in this episode, we'll have to do the army management next episode. So thank you for joining me for this. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. So hit that like button if you want to support the channel, considering that subscribe button, as well as take a look at the description down below, where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!